Saint Cara, the man with no face, a mystery to his opponents in the ring. But Friday was no mystery. It was all about the smiles on the children's faces here at Edinburgh Children's Hospital. Their spirits lifted and for a moment, if ever so slightly, their innocence rejuvenated after seeing one of their favorite wrestlers. In the ring, Sin Cara is a man on a mission. Here. High risk, high reward. The second the Outside of it, he's a man from humble beginnings living his dream. To show the kids that no matter what situation you're going through, if you put a smile on their face, it can change the demeanor of their day, it can change, you know, a lot of things in their lives. But despite the mask, Sin Cara uses his platform <laughs> to give back. Having worked his way up from an amateur wrestler getting paid pennies for matches to one of the most polarizing figures in WWE, he never forgets where he's from. I grew up in a kind of like similar atmosphere, you know, in La Frontera, and, and obviously we, we go through a lot as, as, as a community. A father himself, Sin Cara, spent part of his day Friday at the Edinburgh Children's Hospital with his youngest fans as they battled some of their toughest opponents. For a moment, they could forget about what was ailing them. As fans came face to mask with Sin Cara, there were all smiles from ear to ear. His emotions may have been hidden by the mask, but for the wrestler, they were the same. If we can come to them and put a smile on their face and, and show them that we care, you know, I think for me, it's, it's an awesome feeling. Sin Cara knows nothing is guaranteed, but he's aware his actions outside the ring among his fans and supporters can leave a lasting legacy. For me, being able to do things like this, come into a hospital, or, or be doing the BSR rally where, where we talk about anti-bullying, it's, it's very important because I want to leave something for them. In Edinburgh, Patrick Shaw, your CBS 4.